the future I look at, how are the tech companies pivoting in this space? Um, not just new tech, but uh, you know, people we work with. You know, uh, there has been competitive features being developed on Zoom and Teams as those guys were at one point competing. And now I feel like those two have sort of diverged and they're in their grasp. So now we have two sort of different platforms doing different things. Um, but I keep looking at, at all the way these technologies are trying to make these experiences more relatable, whether it's Q and A's or whether it's raising your hand or in ways to impact your piece of the video feed to have some sort of a contribution. Um, I, I have a slightly different background in that I've done a lot of work in esports, uh, and in those environments, we had hybrid environments. We had a large portion, of the, the significant portion of our audience was at home, and so it was something as easy as, hey, somebody tweeted about one of our players, showcasing that, highlighting that. Um, that viewer engagement needs to happen on both sides. Um, so I look at what those guys have been doing for the past four years and say, we need to be engaging the audience as much as we can. Um, and that is highlighting what they're saying in text. That is highlighting and having a microphone in the room. That is that is sort of engaging that and looking at it in this weird way, almost like the sporting events do of saying like, well, how do we tackle this environment? Because those guys have to do it and have had to been doing it prior to the current environment. Um, and then just speaking to, you know, putting my new tech hat back on. I mean, we are trying right now, as of yesterday, we released our, our bridge protocol. NDI bridge basically says, you can take two offices on either side of the country and make these guys local NDI. And if you're not used to NDI, it says, if I put something on my network, I can do video, audio, and control over it. I can control my camera. Well, now I can do that over the wide area network. So me and Dan can interface with each other and everything that Dan touches in his office, as easy as all the cameras are in his facility, he can also access my stuff in my apartment in New Jersey. And so just like that ease of use is like opening up production doors, you know, we were talking about production and different layers of the stuff. So, so the production technology is evolving very quickly. There are a lot of uh, uh, people in the uh, IP space who are innovating much faster than we would expect. And, you know, that's the beauty of doing things in code, right? I'm not worried about some of the major issues that we have in actual physical production, you know, that, that is supply chains and things like that. So, so those guys are going to be leading the charge. And we already know that because when we went, uh, you know, to everyone's point, when we went to doing these remote events, we just, we all had a tool that we were ready to use. Like Zoom didn't come out of nowhere. It didn't start, you know, in March of last year. It's been going on for a while and we've all been keeping our eyes and we have a couple of tools that we're highlighting. I think that's going to continue to grow, but I do entirely recognize Dan's point of a lot of people just want to have those in-person meetings. And the beauty of the hybrid environment is going to be, I don't have to attend physically every event if I can't. I no longer have to be as picky and choosy as I was because if I'm introducing a panel somewhere, once I'm done with that panel, I can turn my phone on and be watching the other event that I really wanted to go to. But like I had this conflict, you know, when you guys are in Boston, I, I would love, you know, that's, I was just thinking about that. I'm like, man, I wonder how the schedules are going to line up. And, and that's always a thing where when you're doing so much of this stuff, you can't always get it to everything you want to do, but now you can. There's there's a hybrid angle. You won't you won't get that community aspect right away, but you certainly will be part of that event and learn something. And then three months down the road, when I if I go out to Cali, I can see Dan and pick things up and say, hey, this is how things have progressed since we last talked, or since I last heard you talking about this stuff. So it is a it is becoming a, the community that once was. We thought of how small and tight knit the people we once knew were, whether they were a part of our team or our families or, you know, friends, it's a lot larger, a lot faster. And I think this is very real for younger generations. Everyone's now experiencing this, the technology enabling you to have this very wide community. 